Hello nieces and nieces, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I'm Savin's Fashionista and over here we do mainly things fragrances whether it's body or home and today we are here to talk fragrances you guys. So I have a fragrance sampling so if you're interested in hearing about the things that I have been sampling lately please stay tuned. All right, nieces and nieces. So I have a fragrance sampling that I would like to share with you all today. I have five fragrances that I ordered from Perfumeology. And Perfumeology is a family owned fragrance boutique out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So that is on my bucket list to one day go and visit this particular boutique. I think they do focus mainly on niche and maybe indie brand fragrances, but I did place an order because I was looking for this one particular fragrance, but I did not want to order a whole discovery set. And I was really reluctant from ordering. I've heard that you can order decants from Macari, but I haven't gotten that braid yet. So I um, ordered some fragrances and the majority of the fragrances come from the house of Navitas. So they do have um, Navitas. I think they have, I know at least the most popular ones from Navitas. They have those fragrances and they do come like this. Now, some people may be partial to fragrance decanting. They want them to be from the actual company or manufacturer. I don't really have a problem, especially if I'm dealing with a replicable boutique such as Twisted Lily or Lucky Scents because although Twisted Lily do send some from the actual company, some of those decants, you can tell that they're in-house decanted. Now, I have so many decants, well, samples, they're not decants, that I have gotten from Lucky Scents. I know I probably have a hundred of them because at one time, they um, were sending them to me, um, I guess, as a part of PR or whatever. And although I was grateful for them, but I just felt like I could not give a fair assessment on them because they are blotters. I don't care for the blotters. But if I can get them from a replicable company and they come in the form of a itemizer, I'm fine with that. So these come in... An itemizer that you can tell that they were done in-house and they have them labeled which I don't have a problem with that and like I said I do believe that um, Lucky Sense Twisted Lily are replicable companies and it's the actual real fragrance but like I said the only thing with the Lucky Sense I just really wish that they would invest in providing them as spraying itemizers because I just feel like I could give a better assessment when I'm able to mist it in a wider range. So um, the fragrances that I have been sampling, um, as I said, I have three from Navitas and it's three that I have really been wanting to sample. And we're going to start off with the one that I was mostly excited about and it's probably because I'm familiar with this content creator as well as her fragrances because I have her previous two and this fragrance is from um, Navitas in collaboration with AI the Great here on YouTube and it is her latest one which is a more infinite and you know it took a while before it came to me that all of her fragrances have the initials of AI, like Ambrosia Imperial, Amorous Intense, and Amour Infinite, like duh. But this is Amour Infinite, and um, I'm going to share the fragrance notes with you. And I'm just going to share my thoughts, but I'm going to refresh this because I have been sampling these fragrances I've worn them on skin in the pulse point so as you can see they're just about gone if I can get a proper focus because I've really been trying to see how I really vibe with them and what I feel about them so 
there it is again oh this smells so good so um a more infinite it has top notes of italian bergamot red berries pomegranate pineapple grapefruit hard notes of orange blossom honeysuckle rose and jasmine the base notes of white chocolate madagascar vanilla heliotrope driftwood and sandalwood this is definitely a pretty girl rose fragrance i definitely pick up the rose but also on my skin what stands out the most to me that i could smell throughout the wear of the fragrance now i did not wear it full body it was just pulse point sampling which is really all you kind of need that honeysuckle that rose and that white chocolate it carried me throughout the duration of the time that i could smell that fragrance and right now those are the notes that my olfactories are picking up and they are so beautiful this is not like an oody rose or a vintage like rose i don't like to call it grandma rose but a vintage like rose which nothing is wrong with that this this rose to me it has some depth in it but it's not overly green and it's not too rich it gives me thoughts of what the type of rose that i smell when i smell fragrance like delina la rose or um patiala by tamin and it is absolutely beautiful what i do really like about it is how they infuse that white chocolate note and with these sweet florals like the honeysuckle and the rose i do get hints of white floors as well for some reason i can always pick those up and it is a beautiful fragrance you guys i think this is one of those type of fragrances it's signature scent worthy so if you are a person who really enjoy rose fragrances with a very pretty girl vibe to it this would definitely be a fragrance for your liking it is absolutely pretty so she did it again like i said i have her previous two fragrances and this one is on the wish list and also Navitas now um, have their fragrances with Neiman Marcus as well. But this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So again, this is Amour Infinite by Navitas in collaboration with AI the Great. The next one is also from one of my favorites here on YouTube. Um, Sharita, her content is so great. The information itself the aesthetics of her content i mean she just get all thumbs up for me really enjoy her and the fragrance this is her first collaboration with the navitas and the fragrance is money Cassinat. and you guys oh this is for the gourmand lovers absolutely for the gourmand lovers so this is the money Cassinat. and ice cream vanilla ice cream ice cream it is absolutely a true gourmand this is really nice it has top notes of bergamot vanilla ice cream cashmere brown sugar toffee and amberwood base notes of vanilla caviar crystal musk peruvian white amber now you guys know I am a fan of the Bianco Lattes, the Gourmand Escapades, Escapade Gourmands, the Amour Cafes. I am a fan of those. This right here, it falls right into that same fragrance DNA. It is absolutely beautiful. And although it's not an overly projecting fragrance, it's not one of those spicy or leathery type of vanilla fragrances it is a true gourmand fragrance it has a beautiful creaminess to it and it is really nice you guys this is a nice fragrance i didn't expect anything less from sharita this is good this is really nice really really enjoy this one and like i said although it's not a highly fragrant well 
highly see argin or it creates this big massive scent bubble it doesn't do that but it creates a bit more of a sea arch than my escapade gourmand although um, that's one of my favorites but it's a very close to skin scent this is a little bit more than a skin scent but it is just right for the type of fragrance that it is it is absolutely beautiful congratulations to Sharita again this is a star and I like it. It's also on the wish list now. So again, this is Money Kasanat with um, Navitas in collaboration with Sharita. All right, the next one is also from um, Navitas. And this one got my attention because, you know, what's my fragrance note for this season? You got it, honey. So... In my whole rabbit hole voyage of honey fragrances, I came across this particular fragrance, and this is Mayel Exhaust. And I don't know who it's in collaboration with, please pardon me, but it is a honey fragrance. And you guys, this um, fragrance it's unique it's definitely unique so you guys the first thing that came to mind when i smelled this on car and in my pulse point was menthol menthol cough drop that's what came to mind and to be exact the lemon honey that was my uncle's favorite when i was growing up he loved the ice blue and the lemon honey and that's what came to mind this has fragrance notes of apricot wild honey dried fruit blends the hard notes of saffron, rum, absolute, violet wood, ginger, base notes of Brazilian tonka bean, Madagascar vanilla, chocolate, caramel, and toffee. Now, honestly, you guys, it took probably over an hour before I could really start smelling some of the base dry downs of those rich gourmand notes that are listed here to be a part of this fragrance. At the very beginning of this, like I said, well through 30 minutes, I definitely got this menthol fragrance. And I'm not really sure what that could be coming from. It could be a combination of the rum and the saffron together mixed in with the apricot. I'm not really sure. But it is definitely a very unique fragrance it's not a bad fragrance but i don't think that this fragrance wears well on my body chemistry and um i'm glad that i did sample it prior to like blindly purchasing it so it's always good to do that and it's not even a bad menthol smell but i just cannot get out of my mind those honey lemon cough drops but this was definitely interesting. This is one of those fragrances that I do believe um, you just have to spend some time with and allow it to go through its stages. But right now, it's not for me. So again, that is Mayel Exhaust. All right, you guys. Now, the next two are fragrances that I have just been curious to sample. I first saw um, Tresses, Alexis Tresses, Tresses by Alexis. She talked about this in one of her videos. Love her content too. And um, she talked about how good it was. And I was, I just had to smell it. And Saffron is one of those fragrance notes that I really do enjoy. And the fragrance that I am speaking of is Crystal Saffron by Matier Premier. And you guys, before I even spray it, this is very simplistic. It says it has musk, saffron, and incense. This is a super leathery fragrance, you guys. So I'm assuming that it is the actual saffron in very high dosage in here that's giving it that leathery smell so I'm assuming like I said it has to be the richness and the rawness 
of the saffron because this smells just like leather in my opinion this smells so much like leather it reminded me that leathery note that i'm sm smelling in here it reminded me of um a note that i'm smelling in the fragrance rafa cat which is a dupe for um baby cat but it is a beautiful fragrance you guys it is absolutely beautiful so she was right on that it's beautiful but this is one of those fragrances i could probably get away with owning a 10 mil decant because i can tell it's gonna only take a little of this for me to enjoy it because it's just that powerful i do think that it is a balanced unisex fragrance and this is definitely for cold weather this is definitely cold weather because it smells like you got on a a, a fresh new lambskin leather coat that's just how leathery it smells i do get a little incense in it and this fragrance it is long lasting i did a skin test on it i had to bathe to get it off and on this strip here i was testing this out a couple days and this lingered in my little room for like a day it's that's just how strong this fragrance is so it is definitely highly um fragranted it has a high sillage it projects well and it is a beautiful fragrance but i just don't think because it is so strong i don't need a 30 or a 50 or 100 mil bottle of this i could simply just order me a 10 mil decant and that will be perfect because this right here it takes a very little so again this is crystal saffron by matier premier and the next fragrance you guys this is a very familiar fragrance to the community as well as myself because her predecessor had so much controversy it was one of those fragrances that you either like or you don't like and the fragrance that i am speaking of is guidance 46 now guidance 46 is I'm going to say it's like the supposed to be like the extrait version for guidance, which I don't quite understand because guidance doesn't need an extrait version. And I could be wrong on quoting that. Maybe it's just a grade up formulation. I don't really know. But it's another version of guidance by Umwaj. So here it is. And this fragrance has fragrance notes of pear, frankincense, hazelnuts, rose water, pink pepper, bitter almond, heart notes of saffron, rose, jasmine, sambac, osmanthus, base notes of citrus, sandalwood, akigali wood, ambriguerous, vanilla, ambrette, georgie wood. And I've never heard of georgie wood. But you guys, she, to me, is just as powerful as her bigger sister but she's just a little bit more reserved so she's a little more reserved i do think that you still get that same fragrance dna you still get that frankincense and that akigali wood that have like some type of pheromone majesty inside of it and i think that's what make me like it and people to like it so much when they smell it on you because it probably gives a little different twist or vibe depending on who wears it and she is just as pretty like i said but she's just a little bit more reserved just a little bit more reserved um i do think that the floral aspect in here is a little bit more pronounced than that oody muskiness that you get in the original one and it's beautiful i mean i have nothing bad to say about it i just wish that it didn't cost 520 dollars but it does and um do i want it is it on my wish list yes it is um but absolutely beautiful fragrance it is absolutely beautiful i definitely would recommend 
if you could not get with the original one to try this one because to me it's like if you can't stand the original Delina like myself but I can deal with the extrait version because it's just a little differences and how they have the notes formulated i think the same goes for guidance and guidance 46 but it is absolutely beautiful it's long lasting this was another one that i sprayed on the card and i had this mixed in it was sitting close to another one of the cards from um navitus and believe it or not i had to redo the card from navitus because guidance took over the card and you could smell guidance over and I think it was the, um, yeah, it was the Monte Cassinade because that's more of a subtle gourmand and it just totally took over that. But that's what guidance does for you. But enjoyed these fragrances. Um, I would recommend ordering from them. You're not going to get, you know, it's going to be in house and I don't have a problem with that. Um, I've never ordered like a full bottle from them. Um, I said that I would, you know just to show business and support at some point and um i was excited about it this was my first time ordering from them i will continue to order because they have a really nice selection and actually in here they have some personal fragrances in here from their actual boutique so again these came from perfumeology you can order online or if you're in the philadelphia area stop in and see what they have to offer i want to thank you guys so very much if i didn't answer a question about one of the fragrances that i shared with you um you can leave the question below and have comments that you want to share about these fragrances you can leave that in the comment section below also thank you so very much i greatly appreciate you and do not forget you yes you you are great Bye bye